The funerals of the Palestinians who died during Friday's mass protests on the Israeli border have begun in Gaza with the burial of a 15-year-old. Hamas has mobilized its followers in Gaza to hold mass protests up until the 15th of May, the 70th anniversary of the creation of Israel. Of the, security. the United Nations has called for a transparent inquiry into the deaths. These peaceful demonstrators posed no threats whatsoever to Israel or its heavily armed soldiers. Yet, its trigger-happy soldiers used live ammunition, tear gas, and rubber bullets to shoot indiscriminately at those non-violent protesters. Israel insists Gazan medical officials have exaggerated the casualty figures and denies using excessive force. What we've seen is a violent riot in its clearest form. The Hamas terrorist organization have sent their people to the border with Israel and Gaza in order to camouflage their true intentions of terror. They've sent their women and their children as a ploy to hide their true intentions. Saturday saw far fewer people in the five tented camps set up in the border zone. And the Israeli army warns if violence there continues, it will move against what it calls terror organizations in Gaza.